president. You look like a teller. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Hello, Mr. President. How are you? Just nice to see you. Introduce Mr. President Dick Hillary. Mr. President Hillary. 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 Hill
asked for the autograph, Ray Milland. <laughs> <laughs> so I signed Ray Milland. <laughs> Mr. President, you, Mr. President, I have a young staffer that has worked for two years on this, and if you could sign one for him, it would make his, What's his, would make his two years. Brian Gunderson. Brian. You'll have a happy... I or why? Uh, I. Gunderson. Gunderson. And that'll give us the happiest grandmother in Minneapolis, Minnesota. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. President. It's been a pleasure, sir. Don Cogman. President. Yeah. Hello there. All right. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I'd like you to meet our award winner, Peter Grow. Well, hello there. Nice to see you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Mr. Dale Harder Leonard, the Mr. President of Iowa Bell. Nice to see you again, sir. Oh, and see his you. parents and younger brother, Andrew, Mr. and Mr. Grow from Atlanta. Nice to see you. Mr. President. Hello. Nice to see you. Thank you, sir. Mr. President. Hello. I think they'd like to have us go to this form in the Okay. Here. <laughs> President of uh, High Hotel in Germany. Thank you. Should I tell you, uh, Mr. President, uh, Gina won uh, this award uh, from our company after 8,900 other children wrote this essay on being 18 and what it means to vote. And uh, uh, Gina was uh, just a sensational essay, we thought. We thought you'd like to hear it. And she's going to read it to you if you'll just take the time. I would be very pleased to hear it. Okay. When I am 18 years old, I will vote because I can help my country choose good leaders to start new ideas and to strengthen present programs which are good for the nation. Americans have fought to give me the privilege to vote. Yet many citizens do not utilize this right. Voting allows me to make my voice heard. Not voting gives someone else the chance to make up my mind for me. I love America and my freedom. Being patriotic, I will proudly vote. Well, congratulations, and that's wonderful. And that says it all. You know, there was once a very great humorist in our country named Will Rogers. Have you heard of him? Will Rogers once said, the people that serve in public office are no better and no worse than the people who send them there. But they're all better than those who don't vote at all. It is true, and then there are too many people in our country that are neglected in that, that don't vote. It's too busy to get around to them. Well, that's just wonderful. And this is for you. It's for me. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You know where that's going to be pretty soon? Well, it's going to be displayed in a thing called the Presidential Library, which is going to be built in California. And usually those libraries, presidential libraries, are about a minute the long year that come through. You will be seeing you And I hope learning something from it. <laughs> it's just one step. That will be one. Thank you. President, thank you for taking the time to do this. Well, Appreciate it. I'm very pleased. Yeah, okay, one more thing we want to give you. This is Patty Fryer. She needs executive vice president. president. Thank you so much. Foundation. Thank you for everything you've done for us since you've been in office. Thank, well, thank you very you. much. This is on behalf of Ambassador Joe Rogers, too. As you know, he's chairman of our foundation, and uh, it's been very important. Well, thank you very much. Thank Mr. You. President, I'd like to introduce you to Julie Milstein, who's the lady who ran this program for our company. Nice to meet you. For the last six months to see you. Well, this is a wonderful thing you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Do you want to make the family here? Maybe I should do a picture with the family. Oh, Please.
Thank you, Mr. President. That's a very fine, fine essay. Thank you. We're very proud of it. I can see, and I, I think you should be. Thank you. Best wishes. There's little brothers, by the way. He has been very excited about coming to see you. Well, it's a rare opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And when she's 18, she will go. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you. The president of Guinea. Well, Mr. President. Mr. President. Good to see you. Do have Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure for me to be able to come on this visit to the United States. It was mutual. C'est un plaisir uh, réciproque. Merci. Uh, Mr. President, this is the Minister for Plans, Mr. Benjamin. How do you do? And the Ambassador of Guinea? Hello there. And our Ambassador. Well, hello, Mr. Harris. Nice to see you. It's fine. Nice to see you. Well, come in. We'll sit down for a minute. I know we're limited in time. This is General. Mr. President, I'm going to ask you. General Paul, who is the Minister of National Security? But in the meantime, thank you very much for our gift. Is it, the figure, does it have some significance? Yes, it does. It's a symbol of the second of our little part of our country, the Guinea Forest Pier. It's a forest god from one region of our country. Well, as I say, thank you very much. Je vous remercie vraiment infiniment et très sincèrement. I'd like to thank you for having given me these few minutes out of your very crowded schedule. I know that you probably have quite a schedule. Je sais que vous avez aussi un programme structuré. We're very pleased. Nous sommes vraiment très contents, très satisfaits. So, how many years till they cut down this tree and make McDonald's brass back? Secret squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I thought Reagan's son was going to go.
How long do you think it'll take you to do the whole pile? <laughs> oh, seem as long as a press conference. <laughs> Is that Don Regan's shovel? I think I'll, I think I'll leave this to someone for someone else. <laughs> that the Iranians are, uh, are trying to deal with somebody on hostages again. Have you heard those? I've read them. I saw those uh, speculations about that. We have no evidence. It, it's no one from our government? What? No one from our government is dealing with them, sir? Not to my knowledge. You should know. sign the Antietam bill today. It means a great deal to us. And Jeb is uh, very much interested in uh, the Antietam and the historic nature of it, so uh, I uh, snuck him along. He's well, very small, right? <laughs> well, I think it's fine, too. And you, this is the lady I think we owe this to. That We're we very, uh, very delighted. That states and all. And, uh, I was checking on your uh, trip to Camp David last weekend. You had a little love, little moisture on the way up. Yeah, well, but we cleared our, cleared our act up for Saturday and Sunday. Yes. <laughs> well, no, mainly Sunday. Up oh, there still stays pretty dismal oh, and cold and gray on, uh, on Saturday. Well, that's like it is up in your mountain in California. Make you feel <laughs> <laughs> Come on over here. Okay. Kurt, I want to do my present on the other side. Fine bill. Let's uh, preserve at the same time. The history and the memory for America's young people. Now, there are two things to do. Close it up, it's signed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Well, listen, it's, I just believe Delighted. Your next uh, Thanks, group sir. is uh, noisy. <laughs> What'd you say? Noisy. I next said you're a little noisy. Your next group is noisy. Hey, man. Yeah. Oh, it's so fun. President, I know you know more. I say. I'm so glad to see you. Delighted to see you. Well, good to see good you. Good to see you. Are you at Top Program? 
Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello. Good to see you. Thank you very much. I know you've seen Nathan Schramm before. Good to see you again. <laughs> How are you? Didn't see you for many times. I have just finished reading your book. Yes. I hope you enjoyed it. Good. Mr. Shmuel Azar. Hello there. Mr. Yakov Agam. Huh? Hello there. Yes. Hello. Herman Branover. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Marvin Ashendorf. Joseph Wasner. Good to see you, God. Nice to meet you. Joseph Miller. Hello there. Rochelle Rickman. Hello. And Menachem Lubensky. Hello, Mr. President. Hello. Why don't we get half an each? Okay, why don't we get one of you guys over this way? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, that's good. I get a little bit of Yeah, let's see. Put one, two. Move right in the There we go. Much. Thank you. The plane will leave it to throw out the land and to all the inhabitants thereof. In heartful appreciation to President Ronald Reagan for his extraordinary efforts on behalf of Soviet Jewry, this Haggadah limited edition by Yaakov Agam ancient chronicle all freedom-loving people throughout the world. Well, thank you very much. Thank I'm you very much for all what you did for Soviet Jewry. Well, you've honored me greatly. And I think I should tell you that this, I think, belongs more than just in a home. I think this will be a, in our presidential library that will be built in California. <laughs> we'll have a groundbreaking next month for that. Oh, good. And then it will. No, I, will. So, I, I, I would like to just tell you a few words about this uh, Agada, right. which I, it's all hand uh, written by my hand. This Agada is the story of the of the struggle and liberty of the Jewish people and symbolize the struggle of liberty over all generations. And I made it to, I interwove the rainbow colors all over the place. That the rainbow colors is a symbol of the covenant of men and God that the world wouldn't be destroyed for a hope of a better world. So all the thing is here done with a lot of color and the, the letters are done in new letters I invented of a point and a line. And it's the number, this together is numbered 180, which is the symbol of luck. The number one is the number of make men. It starts and finish. Number eight is infinity. Exchange with all the world. One and eight and eight make the number nine. It's expansion and growth, prosperity, and also concentration and depth and meaning. And it's all a symbol of luck to you and Mrs. Rigan. Well, thank you. well, thank you very much. Mr. President, on behalf of the American Jewish community and having consulted Max Fisher, I would like to tell you that the whole community wants to the conference of presidents to give you a testimonial dinner before you leave office after the election, honoring you and Max Fisher for his years of service. But in saying that to you, I want to say as categorically as I can for the record, that we are people who've lived 4,000 years. We've known many rulers, many princes, many kings, and many presidents. There is none we respect more or whom we believe has been more faithful to our tradition and to our purposes and the protection of Israel than you. And that is why we want to honor you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I don't know that I deserve all that, but <laughs> we do. We know that. <laughs> Well, yeah. I thank yeah. you very much. We know that, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank